and 2023 proved to be a gilded year for lunar missions with India scoring a landing on the previously unexplored far side of the moon now two private entities are racing to get the United States back in the game the undertakings are a part of a NASA backed effort to kickstart commercial projects to the moon and back the US has remained aloof from the moon for the past 50 years that is about to change Companies Astrobotic and Intuitive Machine are looking to break America's lunar exile, vying for bragging rights as the first private entities to land on the moon. Pittsburgh's Astrobotic Technology is up first on Monday, January 8th, with a planned lander aboard the United Launch Alliance's new Vulcan series of rockets. And this while, Houston's Intuitive Machines aim for a mid-Feb launch of the lander hitchhiking aboard a SpaceX rocket. Houston's native space industry has been a key player in NASA's programs. Pittsburgh, however, is a newcomer to the scene. Despite a late launch date, IM's mission trajectory has a direct shot to land on the lunar surface in under a week. With Astrobotics craft taking two to get to the moon, a full month in orbit prior to a landing attempt on February 23rd. Both the companies have been competing neck and neck following an $80 million grant each from NASA earlier in 2019. Currently, 14 companies are under contract with the American Space Agency. On its planned second flight, the Astrobotic mission will head to the lunar south pole with NASA's water-seeking Viper rover as its payload. This while IM's second mission delivers an ice drill to the moon's surface. Astrobotic's lander will also carry the ashes and DNA from 70 world-renowned figures, including Star Trek creator Gene Roddenberry and sci-fi stalwart Arthur C. Clarke. The craft's upper stage, which will encircle the sun once separated from the lander, will further carry the remains of 265 historical figures, including strands of hair from U.S. President George Washington, Dwight D. Eisenhower and John F. Kennedy.